I used to think I was too dumb for politics. Now, I'm not sure I'm dumb enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when you applaud, it feels like you're saying, we think you're dumb enough. <laughs> <laughs> My dumbest friend started posting political stuff, and I asked him, I'm like, do you have any proof of this? And he's like, well, I got a thousand five word essay. And he sent it to me, I'm like, nope, that's not an essay, that's a meme. And despite what you've been told, a picture's worth does not get to factor into your word count. <laughs> and I don't care. I don't care what you think, how you vote. That's not important to me. What's important is you just make the world better. Just see need, meet it. If you do that, we'll be all right, you know? I try. Like this year for my grandpa, for his birthday, I bought him a Bluetooth headset. Not because he likes technology. He doesn't but he talks to himself. <laughs> now people just think he's busy. <laughs> he's just standing there on the sidewalk going, I ain't paying for no mammogram. <laughs> Which we all know is something he used to say to my grandma on manicure day, because he's not good with words. <laughs> but people walking by him are like, Obamacare's ruining this man's small business. <laughs> <laughs> Makes him feel important. That's good. That's what we need. I think the other thing we need to realize is we've got more in common than we think. And the biggest thing we all have in common? Stupidity. <laughs> it's everywhere. Just listen. I heard this the other day. I heard a woman say to her friend, she said, my daughter's 20, going on 21. And I thought, you didn't need that last part. Because most people know how to count. <laughs> and I get what she was trying to say, because it's based on a similar phrase, but the key to that phrase is you're supposed to have a gap between the ages. That's the part that makes it interesting enough to say out loud. <laughs> you gotta say something like, my daughter's 20 going on 50. That right there, automatically. Much more interesting story. <laughs> you got a college-age daughter who's acting menopausal for some reason? Yeah, I wanna hear about this. And the fact is, we're all stupid. Everybody in this room, no matter how brilliant you are, you're stupid at something. If you're out there right now thinking, not me, I'm not stupid, guess what? You're probably the dumbest person in this room. <laughs> and I say that knowing full well that I'm stupid, I do. And I know that because sometimes I go to those restaurants where they read you the specials before they take your order. And I realized recently, I don't think I've ever gotten through a full list of those specials and understood every word that dude said. I always get thrown off by something. Ganache, come on. That feels made up to me. Bronzino, I think that's a fish, but sounds like a tanning accelerator. Also, it's confusing. Sometimes I get defensive. You said cranberry reduction, and I'm not sure what that means. But I feel like you're gonna bring me less cranberries. That waiter looked at me like I was stupid. And he was 100% correct. He was. And I don't have a problem with that. I don't. I think we all have blind spots. We gotta figure out ways to learn about other people. Step outside your comfort zone. I did that recently. Went to my first gay wedding. My buddy was marrying his partner. He invited us to come. I didn't know what to expect. My other buddies didn't want to come. He's like, gay marriage will tear apart the fabric of traditional marriage. And you know what? He might have a point because we went to that wedding and it was amazing. It was. I think if you go to enough gay weddings, you may stop going to straight weddings altogether. Because <laughs> a gay wedding is all the celebration and revelry of a traditional wedding, but with zero brides. It's so much fun. <laughs> My whole life, I thought I hated weddings. Turns out, I don't like brides. <laughs> this was a wedding planned by two dudes. It was amazing. The moderator, former wrestling announcer. He's like, who's ready for my 
They chest bumped at the altar. I think some of their vows were from Fight Club. I got so excited at one point, I almost spilled my nachos. It was the greatest. It was the greatest wedding experience I've ever had. The best part of the whole thing is it all lasts about the same amount of time it normally takes a bride to walk from the back of the church to the front of the church. I looked at my girlfriend, I'm like, I don't know if we're getting married. But if we do, we're getting gay married. This looks amazing. That's gonna be my special day.